One terabyte USB flash drives are just starting to come on the market, but they're very expensive. This one here is selling for over $800. So I was quite surprised when I came across this eBay listing for a Sony 1TB USB flash drive selling for $50 with free shipping. Especially since according to their website, Sony does not officially sell any USB flash drives larger than 64 gigabytes. Of course I'm well aware of the existence of fake counterfeit flash memory media, but usually they at least try to copy a product that actually exists. And this one was coming from a U.S. seller, while most of the fake flash memory media comes from China. So I decided to pick one of these up. Of course, obviously it's going to be a fake, but I'm just interested to see what the actual capacity of this is. And there's a program you can use to test that to make sure that the flash memory media you get, regardless if it's a USB flash drive or an SD card or a memory stick or even a compact flash card, you can test it to make sure it's actually the capacity it claims to be. So here's the $50 eBay special. But first I'm running a test on this PNY 8GB USB flash drive. I've used it with a bunch of different operating systems. Windows, Macintosh, Linux, and Haiku. So I know it's good. I filled it up to its entire capacity and it's not had any problems with data corruption. So I'm running a test on it using a program called H2 Test W. It's a freeware download and when you first run it it comes up in German but you can change it to English and you can use it to test USB flash drives or any other kind of media. It takes a couple minutes. It's been running for about six minutes so far but it will test your drive to make sure it's holding the entire capacity it's supposed to. So here's the USB flash drive I got from eBay. It has a nice sparkly effect on the packaging. It does not say the capacity on the packaging, but if you look closely at the drive itself, it does say 1 TB, so it claims to be 1 terabyte. And neither of those are the correct Sony logo. And that's not the Windows 8 logo either, that's the Windows 7 logo. It says it's for netbooks, Laptops and desktops, mobile phone flash, USB 2.0, has two different sizes of USB connectors on it, more fake Sony logos on the back for Windows and Macintosh, and a whole bunch of badly written text here. It says for Android, Mac OS, Windows, and Linux systems. It calls itself a U disk. Never heard that phrase before. There it says something about Newsy Mobile U-Disc. I don't know if that's supposed to be an anagram of Sony or something. I don't know. Of course, made in China. And here's our test result of the PNY 8GB flash drive. It says it finished without errors. Writing speed 10.3 megabytes a second. Reading speed 14.7. And the capacity was 7,712 megabytes. So now back to the fake Sony drive. And I just noticed the drive they show in the picture here is completely different than the one that's actually in the packaging. And I'm going to try to open this without totally tearing up the packaging because I most likely will be returning this. Although sometimes I know if you complain to eBay about an item not being legitimate, they give you your money back without even asking you to return it. So maybe that will be the end result of this. So here it is with only minor tearing up of the packaging. It does come with protective covers over the terminals and on the other side it has a fake VIO logo on it. So I'm gonna stick it in the computer here and see what capacity it claims to be. There's a little red light in the end of it, and I heard the Windows USB sound. Found a general U-Disk device. It's installing the drivers there. Now it's installed and ready to use. It showed up as a removable disk F. Let's see, what capacity is it claiming to be? So here we go. Properties, 976 gigabytes, or just above 1 trillion bytes. And it's a FAT32 format. So I'm going to run that test program on it. So here's that H2 test W program again. I'm going to select that drive using all available space and I'm going to write and verify. And this will probably take a while so I'll come back when it shows its results. And there's the red LEDs flickering away as it's writing data to the drive. Well, so far it's gotten past four gigabytes. I know some of these fake USB flash drives 
regardless of what capacity they claim to be, they're actually only two gigabytes. So maybe this one is at least eight gigabytes. Actually, I have to correct myself because I just realized this is just the writing stage. It hasn't gotten to the verifying yet. And usually what happens with these fake USB drives is that when they reach their actual capacity, they just start overwriting the existing data. So this will probably actually claim to have written one terabyte of data to it. Although by the time it reaches that much, it'll just have overwritten itself multiple times and corrupted anything that had existed there so we'll have to wait until it gets to the verifying stage to see what the actual capacity is so that means it could take almost three days for this thing to finish writing it's not doing too fast it's quite a bit slower than the other flash drive was it's over 24 hours later now and it's going even slower now that's really slow for a usb 2.0 flash drive so even if this was a one terabyte drive i wouldn't want to use it just because it's so slow so this is going to take at least three more days to finish finally after 83 hours of writing it's now verifying the drive it appears to be a two gigabyte drive in reality because you can see it's written almost 79 gigabytes so far and 77 gigabytes have been lost so i'll wait for that to finish which will take another 35 hours so here's the end result. It says 7.3 gigabytes were okay and the rest was lost. So it's probably actually an 8 gig drive and part of the difference is because that's measured in binary gigabytes which is what Windows uses and they advertise these drives in decimal gigabytes. So that's closer to 7.5 gigabytes and those are the speeds which are much lower than the real 8 gig drive that I tested before. I already asked the seller on eBay for a refund. So far he has not responded to me but if he doesn't get back to me by tomorrow then eBay customer support will step in and they probably will just give me a refund. So I'll see how that turns out. So here's the end result. The seller never responded to my request for a refund. So after a few days, eBay customer service stepped in and they gave me a refund directly. So I got my $50 back and I don't have to return the item. There are utilities available to reformat a fake USB drive to its true capacity, but these utilities are coming from websites in China and Russia, and the programs are not in English, so it seems rather sketchy to me, and I would not recommend it, because you don't know if the flash memory chips they use are even reliable, because that's obviously not their concern, so you don't know if they're using chips that got rejected from the factories that make real USB flash drives. It could be that the chips they put in these things wouldn't even hold data even at the correct capacity that they were designed for. So I definitely would not trust one of these fake USB flash drives even if you can manage to reformat them to their true capacity.